guys, welcome to back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be uh, using, reviewing, and putting together the Fortress Mobile Batting Cage. Um, it's 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 actually it has lots of pieces, and it's like around 288 pounds. It came in on four boxes, and we had to order it from the UK. And I live in USA, and most of the ones in USA are all for baseball. This one's for cricket, and the baseball ones aren't the exact same, and the cricket ones are, like, because the baseball ones do all four sides. Cricket one, you need opened on the front side, so we had to order the one from UK, and it took about a week to come. So, yeah, now I have to put it together, and then I'm going to try to use it. Okay, so I've just opened the nuts and bolt box, and so there's two types of things. There's this one. There's so many of these, and then there's this. This is for the wheels. There's uh, the nuts and bolts for it, and then uh, washers for it. There's only six of the bolts. There's lots of these. So all the like stuff you'll need to do it is these three things. But I think we're gonna need another wench like this. But so that's all I need for the, like, putting it together. And now I'm going to start putting together the rest of the pieces. So you need a 13 millimeter wench for this bolt. So you can, uh, otherwise it wouldn't fit. So you need a 13 millimeter for this bolt. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm putting uh, together this first step. I uh, so put together these two things and then there's a connector, a couple, like six connectors, which I'll be attaching the wheels to and then uh, it'll be connecting all four of these. I already have, all, mo mo all have them done. These, I made all four, I just need to tighten them. All, only a couple is already hand tightened.
just finished step one, putting the lower like flame around it, like the lower part. So we got the first step done, it's the lower part, and now we're gonna be putting like the middle things that are like vertical poles. And then the we're gonna be putting the top uh, poles like this. So we're gonna be doing that, the, the top ones are step three, the vertical ones are step two, but we're gonna be doing the E, the uh, uh, step three part, the top holes first, so we don't have to go out in the sun and do it, otherwise there's not enough room here. So we're gonna be putting all the pieces together and then at last we're gonna go uh, to where the first part is and then connect them all and then start doing step four. So that's what we need to do first and then these are the top holes right here. So when you put there's four of these. We already have one of them put together. We have to put three more. And then we're gonna, we're gonna uh, put the con connectors, like these things together. And then we're gonna put the whole thing on and then there's only a couple steps left for the wheels and the net. So yeah, that's, the, that's what we finish now and that's what we're gonna start doing, yeah. So it looks like I messed up this uh, this uh, piece. It's supposed to be facing the other way because on the, these connectors, which are these, it's the top connectors, like um, like top corners, there's six of them. It's like the bottom ones for the step one we did. And the connectors, they're, they're named different things. There's two A's, the A's some reason are not like this A on this side and A on the complete opposite side. I thought it was gonna be same side and I did not know that. Okay, so I need to undo this because um this I put it the wrong way. This this piece needs to be here and this thing is supposed to be connecting into here. Because this is the top uh, opening side. So I'm gonna make sure I do this work. So I need to turn this around. I need to put this uh, this side in here. Now let me think, is this correct? Uh, yes, like this. And then, I'm gonna put it in and then put the bolt and then that's everything done. Then I'm just gonna connect it to the first part, the bottom part. I could be standing like this onto those ones. Okay, 
so I've just done, finished everything putting together, like all these pieces. So the, the instructions said to do something else. It said to put these uh, the vertical poles in first and then put those corner connectors. But we didn't want to because then we have to deal with the ladders. So we put these first. So this one is the vertical pole for this uh, thing right here, the, this part here. And that one there is for this one is the other side corner one. It goes here and there's gonna be an opening here so the baller can roll. And then there are these middle ones here, which are going to be going here and connecting like that. And then these things are gonna be the same thing as this, but on the top these uh, poles here this one here one there one there and one there and then of course there's another like middle connector piece there this one and then there's the closed corner the back these two this one is going to be going here and that one there so now we only, all we have to do is put them on and then put these middle pieces and there's a cup these pieces are going to be going like this these these ones here like same as these ones like this and there's a couple more pieces that are going to be like this here on top same as these pieces so yeah looks like we have a little fun helping us here there's a frog oh, maybe that's the frog i saw there's a frog there looks like he's coming to help us hopefully <laughs> Or the vertical ones. Okay, we're just gonna let him stay there while we put these uh, vertical poles together. But first, we're gonna put these in this thing and then put them on the on here. So we wanna flip this around. Oh, uh oh. Huh. Can we flip this uh, here? Okay, so we just finished putting together these vertical poles here. And that's that this that big huge one for the whole side from all the way from all the way over here. This piece to the whole other corner here. And that's for one side, that's for this side. And then we have the whole other one, this side. That's gonna be going here and all the way up to this corner. So this the, the this vertical pole is gonna be going on here. The other one is going to be going here. But before we put that, we're going to put um, the horizontal poles because after they're standing up, th this is going to be the uh, vertical thing, be horizontal. And there's going to be a uh, pole in here connecting from in this side and the other side. And then the f first we're going to put that horizontal pole in here first. And then we're gonna stand it up and put it in there. And then we're gonna put the other side and connect them all. So, and so while I've been doing this, uh, my dad has been helping me like uh, double checking if I'm uh, uh, tightening them enough and so everything's all tight. And yeah, uh, so yeah. Okay, so we put together both of those uh, vertical poles, like all all of them. So we have the, and right now it's upside down. So th these are the roof here, and those are the legs that are going to be going into these holes. There's six of them, one here, one here, and then four more here, here, and then these two, this one and that one now. And then, so now we need to lift it up, like rotate it, and then put it on those holes. So we don't know if we can do it, we hope we can. I mean, we think we can. So now we need to rotate it and put it in, and then into these, uh, uh, pull those legs into here, and then put the notch and bolt. Okay, so we just flipped it 90 degrees. Now we need to flip it another 90 degrees, and then uh, stick it into those, uh, these connectors here. And then we need to put the nuts and bolts and washer. Okay, so now we just flip the cage and we put these vertical bars in these holes on all six sides. And now we just have to put the support uh, beams uh, on some uh, of these sides. Only a couple sides have them, so now we need to do that.
so we were, while we were putting this uh, uh, support part, I call, we realized that this hole is upside down because you know, there's supposed to be a hole right here, but the hole is on the top instead, so we figured out it must be uh, upside down, so now we need to uh, take it out of there and turn it over and put it back in. Okay, we finished putting together the wheels. Now we're doing the net. And so the way we put the net is we put the back, we decided to put the back side first since, and since the back side has a net, from the inside we came here and pushed the back side over and then pulled it down here. And now slowly we're pulling it up and uh, towards the opening, so yeah. Once, while we were putting the wheels, it was kind of hard because, like, um, the nut is very hard to put, so we had to, like, use two big wrenches. We don't even know the size of it because, like, this nut was very hard to put, so you need, like, two big wrenches. It, because the thing was, it was supposed to be much easier. Another thing worth mentioning is we thought the, how you put the, bolt and the nut and the washer is you put a bolt and you put the washer and then a nut like nothing on this side but it looks like after we finish putting almost everything together we realize that we have a lot of washers left over so it looks like they intended us to put another washer on this side we don't know because like normally you don't put anything here but it looks like maybe because they gave all extra washers you might so we don't really know but yeah. 